Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about, I, I'm laughing because like, I'm looking at myself, I've never done a standing video like this, I feel a little awkward, uh, but, um, so a standing video on the side profile, it's so weird how like, you're just thrown out of your element a little bit, because I've done a ton of videos like this, but now I'm over here, and I'm like, how do I, where do, I, where do my hands go, what do I do, but today we're going to talk about standing desks, why I'll never go without them, why it was one of the first items I purchased for myself to sort of reward myself for being a developer, and why I... I just love them, period. I'm also going to give you a recommendation for a company that I've bought three standing desks from. It's not a sponsored video or anything like that. But I'll give you a recommendation where I, I've had, uh, obviously, I've liked them. I've, had, oh, I've bought three of them uh, so that you can go and uh, check it out. Uh, and, uh, you know, it's based partially off price. It's one of the most affordable standing desks out there. But, anyhow, uh, let's go ahead and talk about it. <laughs> I'd like to take a moment to thank our long-term sponsor, Dev Mountain Coding Bootcamp. I've been partnering up with Dev Mountain for a couple of years now, and I've had the chance to see multiple campuses and housing. I've been really impressed. Dev Mountain has a couple different programs from web dev to iOS development, software QA, and UX design. Some are after hours part-time programs, and some are fully immersive programs where they actually include housing at no additional cost so you can get up and go. If you're interested in finding out more, there's a link in the description below. So I'll just get the uh, site out the way. There'll be a link in the description, and if you want to use it, you'll if you spend more than hundred or two hundred dollars, like the average, that's going to be somewhere between three and five hundred dollars, depending on which one you get. You can get uh, you can get some money. I can get some money. All that sort of stuff. But uh, so autonomous AI, they are a smart office company. They basically build office stuff, and you can see here like this L-shaped desk. I wish I bought this one before I bought bought the current one that I have. They didn't have this uh, quite yet, but you can see that this L-shaped one is about six hundred dollars. A little pricey, but as far as the like, you'll see these things as far as high as twelve hundred or thirteen hundred dollars. And then if you want like uh, one of these corner ones, and then if you uh, his and a her, uh, but yeah. You know, so there'll be a link in the description. You can check that out. So um, one thing I've been particularly trying to counteract as I've become a developer, and it's even more apparent um, now that I'm single and I'm trying to do the single man thing. You know get get like mm, uh maybe not like get swole but like get less swollen uh <laughs> like that's really the direction i'm going for um but uh standing desks really help for that I, I when i first started my very first dev job i started having issues in my hips at, at literally age 27 28 because i was just sitting in awkward positions and when i got standing desk started helping because a lot of times i just want to stand like uh, not all the day all days but like when i'm working from home you know i work from home five days a week now i'm standing usually for the first half of the day and i go back i go you know it goes up it goes down you know whatever and then it goes back up again and all that sort of stuff uh so that you can you know some because sometimes you're in the morning the caffeine hasn't kicked in yet and you're just like oh dear god uh save me right <laughs> save me i'm not ready to stand today and then you know 15 20 30 minutes later you're like okay cool let's get my morning started and you know you're 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 you know i think i saw an article about how standing's almost as bad or sitting for a living is almost as bad as smoking for your health like isn't that kind of crazy i don't have any s sources to cite that i and i probably just read a title <laughs> off of some clickbait so but i'm sure it's not good for you um so from a health perspective, I really like that. Now, from a, let's just say for whatever reason you don't care about your health, which you should, uh, as Joe Rogan refers to it, you should care about your one and only meat vehicle. Because that's what it is. This is a meat vehicle, right? This is like, this is how we go to and from places and, and everything else, right? So, um, you know, once the, once your meat vehicle breaks down, you can get another one, um, usually. Although I did see something about how a gentleman – in 2020 maybe 2020 I'd, I'd tell him like i'd say with the way 2020 is going hold off till 2021 where a, a gentleman is actually getting a uh he, um, he's he's very ill which is why this is the case we're getting all over the place as usual but um they are going to decapitate him freeze him and try to reconnect him to a cadaver um because he's he's uh, due to whatever illnesses he has he's essentially going to um pass uh but I digress. <laughs> so take care of your meat vehicle in whatever way that you can. Um, now, from pro from a productivity standpoint, I 
one thing I've always talked about, and like you haven't seen it in a while because this desk is smaller than my last desk, but I used to have like my oil diffuser, which is out in the loft now. And part of the reason I had that was a comfort level thing. And what I mean by that is when you're more comfortable at your desk, when you're more comfortable, like say you want to stand, but you can't, you're not as comfortable. You're not going to, the, the reason I want you to be comfortable and the reason I want to be comfortable is I have found that if I am enjoying myself, if I'm doing, if I can take out this mentality of, uh, this is not how I want to do anything to the best of your ability, then you work longer, you work harder and you enjoy it. Right? So when you're standing and you don't want to sit, you have this sort of energy about you that this is how I want to do. This is what I want to do. And, and you, and you go right. And, and it's, it's nice change of pace where it doesn't always feel like you are um you're being forced to sit does that make sense like so often one of the things like people hate about working a job is just being stuck like a feeling of being stuck in place and in a cubicle and someone who's like me i'm very much so um somebody who fidgets quite a bit so uh, one thing that I, I usually do, I'm in my meetings. I got my wireless headset on, right? I'm, I'm, I'm shooting the shit. I'm talking, I'm, I'm walking, I'm pacing. And like, when it's on me, I walk back up to the screen, right? <laughs> like that's just the way that I roll. And so this, it sort of helps where, um, oftentimes if I, as I'm coding here, I am sort of bouncing around and it's nice because it, it allows me to sort of work out some of that excess energy. Otherwise I'm doing one of these things where my leg is bouncing and I'm driving, you know, I, in the past I'd be driving colleagues, uh, crazy, um not so much anymore um can't really drive anyone crazy when it's just you and your dogs <laughs> so oh man this last one's been i don't know i don't know if this is going bad or just doesn't taste very good <laughs> but um by the way maybe we we'll, maybe we'll get them abs early if we <laughs> if it went bad uh you know not in a very good meat vehicle way but it's been uh, it's been one of the items that I'll never go without. It's very strange for there's certain like pieces of technology that I love that I'll, I'll if I as long as I can afford it that I'll I'll have as part of my life right. So like a standing desk is one of them. Another one for those of you who are interested is a light alarm. So if you've never used a light alarm, what do I mean by that right? So typically all of you probably or the majority of people probably wake up with like an alarm that just goes zero to a hundred real quick. Ding! or even if you got birds or whatnot um and it's very sudden it's actually not very good for your heart either because it sends you into sort of a fight or flight a lot of times <laughs> because uh that's what, like horror films right horror films will uh will go and uh shock you and it's not good for your heart cause, same thing with your alarm um and what i found is i was like there's got to be a better alternative and there is it's, it's a light alarm and what that basically happens is t over 20 or 40 minutes essentially your light goes in stages you know let's say it's 40 minutes so you're probably doing three percent light or so uh, a little less than three percent every f minute where every minute it gets slightly brighter slightly brighter and it's supposed to simulate a more natural way of waking up because it's going to simulate a sunrise right and then eventually if you sleep through it um like i i had a late night i was up till two and i wake up at like 6 45 every day you 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 can <laughs> You're gonna need <laughs> you're gonna need more than the light alarm to wake me up sometimes, um, but uh, typically I would say about 95% of the time it's I don't ever get to the alarm. I wake up about the same time, you know, in the same cadence, and it's it's a much more natural, better way to work. And I, as far, as long as I can have the luxury of being able to afford some of these things, like a standing desk and a light alarm, I will. And it's it's strange how you um, I don't want to say you're 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 um, it's not like a lifestyle creep so much as a respect for what they bring to your life. Does that make sense? Like, I don't, I don't want to call it a lifestyle creep where it's like, oh, I have to have a standing desk. Like, I, I don't have to have a standing desk. <laughs> like, I understand that. You know, your boy was coding in a closet not too long ago. You know what I mean? Like, so I trust it. I don't need a standing desk. Um, it's so funny. I, I, I had a, a date over here, and she's like, you're a little bit bougie. A little bit extra bougie oh my god like i i, I <laughs> anyhow i i don't know why that bo that bothers me to this to this uh moment bougie i never in my i got a singe t-shirt on i got for 10 bucks on jinx how can i be that bougie it's like yeah, i enjoy certain technology and whatnot but i don't know man 
Uh, do y'all think I'm bougie? Let me know in the comments below. Um, and let also let let me know what tech you guys like a lot that like maybe people don't use too frequently, right? So like hue lights and all that. This is getting off the standing desk route, but standing desk good for your health, good for your productivity, and to the point of, uh, you know, being able to, you know, as people are working from home more often with what's going on, working remotely, um, having your desk area set up. And actually having a, a real office, if you can, right? Not everybody can. But if you have that, that luxury of having a full office, it's it's nice to be able to to um, f have something that's comfort. That's like, this is my workstation. This is where I work. And um, every little tweak, especially for somebody like me who works like 80 hours a week between work and side projects, every little 1% gain has an exponential sort of result because i am going to be working as a developer the rest of my life uh, presume assume you know what's that ai so uh, <laughs> probably no ai uh relax sky is falling um or if i have a career change or something like that probably not but i don't see that happening um and i am going to continue working on side projects that are digital in nature and things like that so all these little things that i sort of do it it's it's nice to be able to get that little gain. And in the case, case of a standing desk and the light alarm, I guess, um, do help me stay as healthy as can be. Because sometimes as developers, we uh, we get a little out of shape. We get a little unhealthy. Um, it's just part, it's a little bit of the, um, just part of the job, I guess. Like, I don't, I don't know how else to put it. Like, we're not, we're not on our feet most of the time. So this is a good way for you to be on your feet. Like, I remember I was uh, delivering pizzas. So I'd be, I'd, Dude, I would come, I would come home. So I did closing shifts. I would come home sweating, just covered in sweat because I'd be mopping, I'd be cooking, I'd be, oh my goodness. Uh, and you know, at late at night when it's like one or 2 AM, you're like, you know, you're, you're, you're busting your butt to get out of there as soon as you can. Cause you go, know, I have class at 6 AM, 7 AM, 8 AM, whatever it was. And, um, yeah, man. Uh, but we, as you know, we live at, at times that comfy life as developers, very stressful at times, but from like a, like, um, you know, oftentimes people are looking to get out of like the physical labor and stuff like that. And we, there's no physical labor to our job, which can be to our detriment. So we got to keep an eye out for some of that stuff. So with all that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Again, there is a link in the description to where I get my standing desk typically. And, and, um, you can say, save yourself some money as well as I can get some money. Uh, for when I go get another one, <laughs> I guess, uh, actually they have some chairs that I've been having my eye on, but I haven't pulled the trigger. Um, so they also, they have a whole bunch of stuff. They have like a robot face for like, which it's, I bet they sold a ton with the coronavirus stuff going on where essentially it's like a tablet on a robot and you can control it. So you can do like digital meetings and go around the office. <laughs> I don't know if anybody's bought, I did see that Japan did a, um, a college graduation that way so interesting stuff but uh please subscribe if you haven't already i'm on that hashtag road to 100,000. it's really a milestone i'm trying very hard to go and put up on that wall and if you're interested in my courses you can get them in the description below i'll see you guys next time bye hey guys thanks for watching the video don't forget to check out my latest course the 100 front end interview questions challenge to make sure that you ace those front end interviews smash that like and subscribe button and i'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching